Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide negative whole numbers and fractions. And this is going to be the same process as dividing positive whole numbers and fractions. We're going to keep switch flip, also known as keep change flip, and then simplify if necessary. Now something to keep in mind, the rules for dividing negative and positive integers apply to fractions as well. So same signs, meaning positive divided by positive or negative divided by negative, will give us a positive result. Different signs, meaning positive divided by negative or negative divided by positive, will give us a negative result. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have negative six divided by negative two thirds. So a negative divided by a negative, we are going to have a positive result here. So let's keep switch flip. We're going to rewrite the problem using those steps. So always keep your first number or fraction here. So negative six, and I'm going to write this in fractional form by putting it over one. That way we have a numerator and a denominator. Let's switch to multiplication and then flip our second fraction. So the denominator is going to become the numerator and the numerator is going to become the denominator. So we have three and then I'm going to keep the negative sign with the numerators throughout this video. There are different ways to write out uh, negative fractions so we can either keep the negative sign with the numerator, we can put it in front of the fraction, or we can write it with the denominator. Now I do have a video on how to write negative fractions, so if you need more information on that, I drop that link down in the description. So now we're ready to multiply straight across. So let's start with our numerators, the top numbers. So negative six times negative three. A negative times a negative equals a positive. So this is going to be 18. And then one times two, the denominators, the bottom numbers equals two. 18 over two, that's an improper fraction. So we want to convert this to a mixed number. Now this is actually going to work out perfectly. So it's just going to be a whole number. So we do 18 divided by two, the numerator divided by the denominator. 18 divided by two is nine. There is not a remainder, so this is our final answer, a positive nine. So negative six divided by negative two thirds equals nine. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative six twelfths divided by five. So a negative divided by a positive. So we know that our answer is going to be negative. So let's rewrite our problem. Keep, switch, and then we need to flip that five. So let's put it in fractional form by putting it over one, and now we can flip. So we have one for our numerator and then five for our denominator. Now we can multiply straight across. So negative six times a positive one is negative six, and then 12 times five is 60. We can simplify this fraction. We have a greatest common factor of six. So let's divide both of these by six. And that gives us negative one. 60 divided by six is 10, negative one tenth. So there you have it. There's how you divide negative whole numbers and fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.